Hey, this is Chuck. Hope you're ready for another update. A lot of changes and a lot of progress. I wanted to share it with you. One of the cool things was, I, I don't know if you work on stuff and once in a while <clears throat> it actually works right. <laughs> it doesn't happen enough to us, does it? But as soon as I got the torsion suspension in, I put a piece of plate up here and I took my motor and I just set it up here to see how it sat you know with my differential underneath my other vehicle had the differential on top of the rails right through there Oops. and I had to build a stand like six inches tall so I can miss the differential well this is something new so I didn't know how it was going to fit and I was very pleased to realize this uh, motors fitting on here perfectly the only problem I have is a little bit of clearance issues with the track and I'm going to remedy that I believe with just putting it up an inch and a half higher an inch and a half is a whole lot less than six inches so take some of the stock that I made the frame out of and uh, build it into that plate there excuse me and you can see the distance there it was really really close this is the Predator engine, by the way, with a Go Power Series 40 torque converter on it. Um, it's a totally stock engine. My life fan, which is ungoverned, I like to take the governor out of the engines. That's laying here, but I like to use this one because I want to use the electric start. I like that idea. And plus, this is the one I want to build a pulley system on here and run to like a 30 or 40 amp one wire alternator kind of a mini alternator and I can see myself putting a battery right in here there's somewhere in there and that'll be cool other things I got my idler bogey wheels on the top got two sets on the top there surpluscenter.com two inch diameter one inch thick five sixteen inch bore I know I'm going fast but you guys got other things to do than listen to me all day Beautiful fit. There's five inches in between my frame rails there with the wheels and the distance between the, the Track lugs down here. Everything fits perfectly just like I planned it. I didn't really plan it Thou shalt not lie. That's one of the commandments by the way When I went ahead and welded this I always mock things up thinking ahead and I put a socket right on here if, and uh, measured it and welded it because I knew huh, You can see a problem we'd have if you didn't. Hard to get the bolt off. Changed the take up system here. The tensioner system. Had the head of the bolt here going that way, but there's not much room in here to get a socket, wrenches. It takes forever. Had this idea that came to me of just drilling through the back angle here, running it this way, double nut it here, you know, twist them together, and sure enough. That was a good move. I hope nobody's beyond me already and already done it the other way because I really like this better. So you can get right to the bolts and tension real good. So bought a, I built a couple more frame rails. Or excuse me, torsion, torsion frames there out of inch and a half angle iron, eighth inch thick. In case I want to do some sort of a different suspension system, I definitely want suspension in it. Maybe a spring, maybe a shock, maybe who knows. We're going to go with that and have that in case we want to. Want to, we just unbolt the other system. Boom. Slap the other one in there and go for it. Uh, what else going to tell you? Oh, the brakes. That gives me uh, the opportunity to start working on the braking system. And I have here. Yeah, I'll go over here. I have here a couple generic calipers. They're like small quad ATV calipers off of eBay. I had them for a long time. The, my other unit was, uh, they were uh, manual calipers. And I had rods run to them. Some people run cables to them. I, either way works. But I wanted to try something different. That's me. So I have these um, hydraulic ones. And what I'll do with them is uh, probably run the hoses underneath the track vehicle. And they'll run out the back here. And as my steering system works, you come down with your steering shaft, 
which will turn back and forth at the bottom and in turn you know presses and releases the master cylinder one side will do it one side one side do the other if you can see that I know I demonstrate with my hands a lot talk with my hands talk to the hand and uh, we're working on that that'll be a good deal so appreciate people getting back with me uh, prankster man hey I don't even know your real name but you've been conversing with me and uh, Cody and Ross and even Caden you guys that are actually we're developing uh, some repertoire it's good to hear from you guys if you're building something out there get a hold of me got questions got ideas man I want to hear them uh, Chuck Swart out at Yahoo go ahead and if you can read it through that grubby piece of paper now it's been through the sitting in the garage a little bit and uh, you don't have to PayPal me but it's you know I am I am on a mission from God you know <laughs> So I'm trying to do something crazy, like go clear across the USA. So you may be sympathetic to that cause. And if not, cool. I'm just glad you're watching. So as always, I'm going to let you go and uh, try to make some good progress on there and get back with you next time. So for now, I'll just say God bless you. See you next time. Bye.